What is up everyone, it's Sam from 64 Wheels back with more Dukes of Hazard cars. And today, we have the awesome 1974 AMC Matador Hazard County Police Car from Greenlight. This is a hobby exclusive, and to be honest, I never thought we were gonna get this casting ever. Even as a Hazard County Police car or not. Like, I didn't think this was ever going to be made. Um, it's not a super popular car. You don't ever see them today. Like, if you go to a car show and there's a 74 Matador sedan, you're either probably at a Dukes of Hazard show or an AMC meet. And that's about it. I, I've never seen one at Good Guys. I've never seen one at a local cruising. I've never seen one... You know, I don't even know if I've ever seen one of these in real life. Um, they're fairly rare. They they made a bunch of them, but they just didn't last because they weren't a Ford, Chevy, Dodge. Um, people didn't cling to them as much, um, and they just kind of got used up. So I'm really pumped that Greenlight did this. Um, like I said, this is a hobby exclusive. I'm going to bust this open today, and we're going to look at it. This is from their Hazardous line. Um, I've opened a few cars before, like the... Hazard County, the what Chickasaw, Hatchapeach, Hack Hat Blip, whatever. Um, a bunch of cars from Dukes Hazard, and they've done even more. I'm about like seven cars behind, so as soon as I get some extra dough here, I'm gonna have a big unboxing of those. So, um, this was one I wanted to buy, even though this is not the latest Hazard County car. This is one I wanted to buy because it looked like it was selling out quicker than the other ones, and I just wanted to make sure I got them because a lot of the green light police cars have a tendency to skyrocket in price once their initial run is gone so i snagged i think i bought eight of them um in general they weren't too bad they were like six or seven bucks off um ebay so wasn't terrible basically it was retail plus shipping so and these are hobby exclusive so i can't like n really nowhere around me has these so man this is a pretty good looking car so if you're not a Dukes Hazard fan or you are a Dukes Hazard fan, um, the AMC Matadors, they were used, I think the very first episode was in Season 1, Episode 10, Deputy Dukes, where Bo and Luke um, kind of got dragged into taking like the, the top 10 most wanted guy to the next county over, and it ends up in a whole Dukes of Hazard-ish scenario, so... It's a, I, I really like the episode. It's pretty good. Um, but Bo and Luke actually drive around as deputized Hazard County deputies um, in an AMC Matador. So if you don't know a lot about AMC, they ended up being a division or were a division of um, Jeep Chrysler. And that's actually how they ended up on the Dukes of Hazard. So Daisy drove um, a Jeep, which was AMC at the time, not not like Dodge Chrysler. Um, and this was another one of their cars. So to help promote it through the show, AMC gave a bunch of these cars to the to the cast to use as Hazard, Hazard County Patrol cars early in the show. That's why you see them. I think, I can't remember how long they were used, but I don't think it was past season two. Um, so this, this was kind of a, even a rarity in Dukes Hazard for their seven seasons that was only used for the first couple. So um, I always heard a, uh, a little Dukes Hazard history. I read a long time ago, and I don't remember where it was, but that the stuntmen actually hated these cars because they didn't come with power steering. So they were more willing to jump and crash these than the Dodges or the Plymouths because they wanted to get rid of these quicker. So they smashed them up faster. So that could also be the reason why they had a short lifespan on the show. So take that what you will. Um, but Greenlight did a really nice job on this car. This car has really odd um, squared off front end. It's a very unique looking car. It doesn't really look like a Dodge or a Plymouth or a Ford from that era. It's it's kind of unique. They have like, I don't know if you can see that, but like almost like a T-shaped front end. The backs look more common. Um, that almost looks like a Dodge Diplomat right there, but um, they just were really unique looking cars. Some people think they're ugly. I've even caught that as, as Greenlight was announcing these people were like, awesome, or it's ugly. So um, I'm going to just go over this casting. Sorry, I took, I talked about Duke's Hazard history a little bit there, but what's the fun in looking at a casting if you don't know what it's from? So this is the police model. I get they uh, they're coming out or have come out with it in, in a civilian model with a slick top with no light bar. Um, this has the classic Duke's Hazard, um, federal signal aerodynamic light bar. 
Red always goes on the driver's side. It's got the nice Hazard County door badges on it. It says Sheriff um, all the way around it. So the only thing it doesn't have for the show is the Hazard County um, license plate. And you could, you know, decal that on there if you wanted. So I really like the, the wheels they chose for this, which is like the um, AMC hubcaps. But they are, they're really nicely done, actually, for hubcaps. Um, green light sometimes takes some flack for their really thick tires because the, the Plymouth Fury and the Dodge Monaco of theirs, just the tires are very thick, but this one, I don't know if you can see that. It's actually, the tires are kind of thin. So this one to me is actually done better than those, even though those are some of my favorite castings. Um, the hood doesn't open, which is a little surprising because I don't know if there's a green light I have where the hood doesn't open, come to think of it. So this might be, is this the first actual green light car that doesn't have an opening hood? Somebody in the comments, let me know. I'm sure there's one I'm, I'm not thinking of, but offhand all, like even my Bluesmobile, um, I know some of the, the monster trucks don't. Um, but I don't know if the cars do. So let me know in the comments. If you have a green light without an opening hood, what is it? Um, anyway, so I, re I really like this car. So I bought a bunch of them. Let's see how it rolls. Uh, oh, it doesn't roll very well. Boop, boop, boop. Typical green light. Um, it, really, green light M2. Auto World seemed to roll the best, but it's hard with these thick tires and the the nicer wheels and axles to to roll but these are for these are more for display these aren't hot wheels to roll down a track these are nice you know hobby adult level items so i'm gonna get the um turntable out here whoop and i'm gonna open up a few so we can put a few of them on oh come on there oh, sorry about that oh i got my cord caught all right Oh, come on. Um, so there it is on the turntable. I'm going to sneak and open another one, too. So you can kind of look at two at the same time. But overall, this is a really just a nice looking casting. Greenlight did a really fantastic job of capturing the AMC angles. I think this car is proportioned correctly. They did a nice job. I'm scoot it back just a touch so you can get the grill they did a nice job on the grill detail it's got the painted turn signals in front it's got the turn signals on the side the side marker and it does actually have um like orange in the front red in the back so the turn signals and the marker lights are different uh, these are serial numbered cars i don't know if you can see that right there but the serial number is right there so this one is 0449 so that's a pretty early serial number but so we'll try to look at them both here. There we go. So they're pretty good looking cars. I hope Greenlight keeps this line going because they have, I mean, they made, there's, there's no, like, like I said, this is almost like a bucket list Dukes of Hazard car. If you're a Dukes of Hazard fan, and you watch the show as a kid like I was like oh I want a police car that looks like that you know you want to play like realistic Dukes of Hazzard and you couldn't without the AMC Matador and now we have one and we actually um Greenlight came out with the Capital City car I think they used I know they use it I think oh man I don't know if it was the Carnival I know they used the blue one in Carnival of Thrills but I don't know if it's the one they made in this line but they've got Miss Tisdale's um taxi cab the checker cab and they've got like six other different um plymouth dodge b body fury monaco's now um so i'm gonna have those i'm gonna try to get those two and line them all up and then do a giant post with all of them but this one is looking really solid and the one thing i know about this is let me hang on let me sneak off and get the dodge real quick so the first the the fury you can tell that these cars are actually white to where the other ones are cream. And that probably has something to do with the 
um, like the licensing on them, they didn't probably want to make them exact, but the Matadors are white and they look amazing. So, well, the other one, the that's a 75 Monaco and then the 77 Fury, I believe. Um, you can tell the color difference is there, um, but it still didn't, didn't distract me from buying them because they still look like, if you take those away, they still look pretty white. They're just an off-white, but the Matador is white. Like, that is a Hazard County Patrol car, and it looks good. So I'm really hoping this is a ushering in maybe a little bit of a more cleaner white tone rather than the tan or the cream, um, just to make them look more accurate. But I think because the Matador wasn't made by Johnny Lightning or any of the other uh, Deuce Hazard, you know, the racing champions, Joyride, Ertl, even though they're all technically the same company at whatever time, but the, the Matador is probably the, the nicer one so far, even though they're all, the, the line is an outstanding line, the Matador is, I'm pretty impressed with it, so, ooh, my thing is making a little noise there, I'll have to take a look at that, can't handle all the, <laughs> all the land yachts on it, so, Boom. Well, I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, again, this is the green light hobby only hazard exclusive or hazard, what is it, hazardous line. 1974 AMC Matador Hazard County Sheriff car in white, the correct color. So I'm pretty pumped about it. I'll, I'll have to do some photos and maybe a write up on it for Lamely or somewhere else, but it looks good. And my turntable's making noise. That's what I get for buying a cheap one on Amazon, but I hope you enjoyed this. Anyways, Sam for 64 Wheels. Uh, like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at 64 Wheels. And I'll have more of these videos coming up soon. Hazard County or not. Yeehaw. Thanks, guys.